college football. Taking the week off, enjoying the holidays, but nonetheless, we have Danny's picks on some of the big interesting items today, and in a minute, we'll have his choice for the 1AA championship, because today in Pocatello, Idaho, the Division 1AA championship game. For the third time in four years, Georgia Southern shoots for the crown. Now, to put this in perspective, understand that this small school didn't play football for 40-some-odd years and then started it again in 1981 and now owns the second tier of college football. If that's not enough, then take a look at this. How good is Georgia Southern? The Eagles, the Eagles led Florida State in Tallahassee in the fourth quarter before running out of steam this season. And now as CNN's Dan Patrick reports, their coach, a one-of-a-kind type, is heading for bigger things for his team and for himself. Since 1984, the Eagles of Georgia Southern have risen to the head of their class. A major reason why is head coach Erskine Irk Russell. You may not know the name, but you may recognize the profile. Well, it used to be Mr. Clean um, when Mr. Clean first came out. Um, walking down the halls of high schools on recruiting missions, it's uh, there goes Kojak. But Russell doesn't suffer an identity crisis in the modest surroundings of Statesboro, Georgia. Most of its 15,000 residents view him as a homegrown celebrity. Since Russell arrived here in 1981, he's raised the Eagles from infancy to become the bully on the block. We started, we didn't have these practice fields, we didn't have a football, we didn't have anything. And we were just kind of plowing a field that nobody else had ever plowed, so I'm surprised every day. Prior to Georgia Southern, Russell spent 17 years playing second fiddle to Vince Dooley. And when the Georgia coach announced his resignation this past week, the 62-year-old Russell was viewed as the sentimental choice as Dooley's successor. If Georgia came knocking um, out of courtesy, I would open the door and listen. Is it a dream to go back there after spending so many years there? No. The bald eagle is this. But on Saturday, the Eagles will go for an unprecedented third national title in four years. Coach Russell credits some of his victories on the creek that winds through campus. He will often take a jug of its water and sprinkle it on the opposing team's field just to make his team feel at home. This is beautiful Eagle Creek. Maybe it's not so beautiful, but here in Statesboro, this is viewed as a national landmark of sorts. Coach Russell likens this stuff to holy water. And when it comes to playing in national championship games, he doesn't leave home without taking a piece of Eagle Creek along with him. We always take our jug of beautiful Eagle Creek water when we go long distances from home. We've done that on four occasions, and on every occasion, it's been successful. It has powers. I, I honestly believe it has some powers. He's, he's done something with it. I'm not sure what he's put in it, but he's, that water, it's, it's special. Coach Russell's players can't walk on water, but with the help of Eagle Creek, Georgia Southern may be ready to walk away with another national title. I'm Dan Patrick, CNN Sports. It really is quite a remarkable story down there in Statesboro, Georgia, which is on the way to Savannah, for those of you interested in the area of the country. We've just gotten word that North Carolina State is... ...and Patrick, CNN Sports. It really is quite a remarkable story down there in Statesboro, Georgia, which is on the way to Savannah, for those of you interested in the area of the country. We've just gotten word that North Carolina State is...